Hi there, I'm Stevie Fernandez. And I'm Trish Whitmer. We hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving with your family. I bet more people than ever are watching the show this week. Wait, why is that, Stevie? Everyone's too full to move from the TV. My fingers got so bloated I couldn't even change the channels. <laughs> well, it might also be because this week's show has very interesting guests like Rhonda Bear, owner of Sheber's Coffee in Claremore. Her story and the women she helps will definitely pull at your heartstrings and leave you with much to be thankful for. 17 years ago, I was sentenced to prison for drugs. And the hardest thing in that was knowing what I did to my children and my drug addiction, how, um, how I broke their hearts. I've been a drug addict since I was 12 years old. So drug addiction followed me my entire life. But the day that I knew I was going to prison, my little girl was eight years old. And she looked at me and said, I can't cry anymore, Mom, because I've cried so many times. Please don't leave me. Please don't go. But Mom, you always left. And I never knew when you were coming back or if you were coming back. She said, I was always afraid you were going to die and leave me without a mom. And um, I saw the pain in her heart that I had caused her. And I knew I had to change. I had to change. I had to be a mom to my two sons and my daughter because they deserved a mom. And at that time, I didn't know how I was going to change. But I knew I was going to change. When I went to prison, I was determined I was going to come back different. So I got involved with some prison ministry and uh, got involved with some volunteers that I connected with upon release. And they helped me grow into uh, set goals and dreams and get my children back and graduate college and become a productive woman in society. And what I decided is I wanted to give that back to the other children in Oklahoma. I wanted to save kids like someone saved mine. And I thought, well, if I can save their moms, then I can save them. So 10 years ago, I opened houses. I started opening houses in Claremore, and I would house women that come out of prison, and I would mentor them, and I would set them up with mentors. As I grew in the housing, what I learned is I needed to create a second chance program for jobs. Because often when someone learns that a woman is a felon, they often refuse to hire her. And I thought, well, if I can let the community get to know her instead of just her criminal past, then she'll have a chance to grow economically, and that's going to benefit her children. Recently, uh, the Department of Human Services did a study and they determined that 70% of the children, out of that 28,000 that I gave you, 70% of those children will follow in their parents' footsteps to prison, unless there's some kind of cycle broken. Well, Shebrew's Coffee House is a second chance program for women who have been previously incarcerated. I actually started with $300 and a vision and we started in a flea market booth across the street. So we rented a booth, we got a good coffee bean, a coffee pot, a coffee grinder, and a couple of crock pots so that we could make homemade hot chocolate and homemade wassail. And that was where the, the dream started. And so for about a year I tried to make it happen, but it was really becoming hard. And I thought, I can't do this. I'm gonna probably have to close the doors. But then there were five women in our community that were retired principals and school teachers and professors at the college. And they came to me and they said, don't close your doors. We caught your vision and we're going to help you help these women succeed. And that's really when she Ruse began to uh, change. We have about 4,500 women in prison right now. We have about 28,000 children with an incarcerated parent in Oklahoma. And uh, in order for that to change, the woman does need help. But the Department of Corrections can only do so much. And I think that's where it falls upon the 
heart of some of the people in the state to make a change. And that's what fell upon my heart. Well, I will tell you, we've been able to put 150 children back with their moms, over 150 actually, children with, back with their moms. And we've had 111 women come through our program. And most of those women are still out of prison, still living in recovery, and still have their children back.